How is everybody doing guys? This is Cozzy here and I'm going to just give you a brief overview of all of the loadouts and kind of things that you've got in Titanfall. Hopefully I will try and keep this a short video but first of all I'm going to go into the pilot loadout. Now usually there would be three different types of classes that you can pick straight off the bat. They are something like Assassin, Marksman and something, I can't remember the names of them too often, but I'm not going into that depth, I'm going to show you what you've got in your custom slots. Now, the main one that I've been using myself is the Carbine, that is the weapon that I find most valuable. Now, with the primary weapons, you've got basic ones like the Carbine, a shotgun, a pistol. Now, that one is the Smart Pistol, which locks on for short range, you don't even need to aim down sight with it, it locks on aim. SMG and a sniper. I've never seen anybody use sniper. I'll be honest with you, I think a sniper is a really hard thing to actually use on this game for once. So with the carbine, I've unlocked a lot of the iron sights, so like HCOG it's called. Hollow sight and uh, AOG. With that, then you've got yourself a mod that you can put on your gun. So if for example, suppressor, extended mag, I've been using extended magazines. Then with that you've got your anti-titan weapon, with this one this is an auto like you have to lock on with it kind of thing to shoot. This one is just a free firing weapon that shoots out small projectiles and I prefer the lock on one with a bit more uh, damage kind of taken off them. Side weapons is just an auto pistol or a like semi-auto pistol. Again, there may be a lot more guns and such like that in the game but I'm liking how simplistic the classes are to be honest with you. Again. Don't want to keep referring to Call of Duty, but it's got that COD feel to it in back in COD 4 kind of thing where the class is a lot more simplistic. But that was the good thing about it, they overcomplicated it. So with the tactical ability, cloak, that makes it so you can cloak against yourself against Titans and things like that. Basically have that invisibility. Or have stim, which increases movement speed and regeneration of health. Ordnance is either a frag or an arc grenade. Arc is just similar to like an EMP grenade where it distorts the vision of the Titans and even the pilots. In tier 1, you have got yourself an enhanced parkour kit. This allows you to wall run and things like that a lot quicker so it can keep you on the walls quicker. I like that because I like to parkour a lot of it on the uh, on the game not just because it's cool even though it is a cool thing I do like to do it because I'm I, I think it's really good way to move around your enemies positions things like that especially when you've got Titans on your tail it can be a good way to Scott it's like scaper from your enemy explosive crash increases your uh, ordnance ammo as a pass pilot pilot and the power cell accelerates recharging of the tactical ability of the pilot now tier 2 that one, dome shield battery, is basically when you call your shield, call out your titan, he'll have a dome around him. For example, if you die, he'll keep his dome around him so he's protected. Minion detector is just like a constant radar on the map all the time. And then warp fall transmitter is accelerates your titan substantially using short range jump technology. Now, gender, you can change it if you want a male or female. And... Yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Each different different guy chooses it depending on the weapon has a different kind of design. Now with the Titan loadout, you have the option of using an Atlas. I'm presuming there's gonna be other ones because I know I'll come to the burn cards, I'll come to them shortly. Primary weapons, you either chain gun, something similar to just a massive ass LMG. Quad rockets which shoots out four rockets at a time, meaning of the quad rocket, and a cannon which shoots out, it's a semi-auto gun which is something like, you could say it's similar to like a marksman rifle kind of thing, um, but these are trying to compare them to big ass weapons kind of. Vortex shield, now this is what I was using in my games if you've watched any of my gameplay videos, this is where he puts up a shield and any projectiles, which bullets, he'll hold them all and then he'll send them back at the enemy. Though the electric smoke, which is a good way to basically damage your titans and enemies. So if you've got somebody on your back or if you've got a titan on you and you've got low health, it's just a good way to escape quickly. Rockets, these are free firing rockets, which I like to use myself because they're a bit more easy to use and quicker to use on the ball. And the warheads are a lock-on device, so... Again, if you prefer something that you'd lock on, guaranteed damage kind of thing, then that's up to you. Nuclear ejection, that's the thing that after you eject, the oh, basically it's like a Mardom for your Titan. Regen, that is makes your her body shield regen faster than usual. And then faster auto loader, makes your 
sh makes you basically ordnance so these things regen faster and in number two auto eject you auto eject as soon as your titan's about to blow up and survivor your titan will lose health at a slower rate when doomed so when he's in like the mode where he's gonna die uh, he's gonna basically have a bit more health still left in him so it gives you time to auto eject a bit quicker and that's basically summed up of them and you can have three different classes again now the burn cards are a really good thing and you unlock three different you, you unlock different more slots as you level up kind of thing but you only get to use these burn cards once and I've got the moment replace primary weapon with rapid fire spitfire LMG, same with a lethal carbine or faster movement speed. So if you go and die in game, you can use one of these burn cards. And when you use these burn cards, it'll do, for example, move your movement speed. It'll clean, increase that movement speed of your guy for that entire time you're alive. Or it'll give you a more powerful weapon. Or for example, these are burn cards that I've got at the moment. Scoring more hits gives you better XP, reduce better, lower rebuild, uh, rebuild time. 40 seconds off build time, things like that. So again, 80 seconds, really good. So if you're in the game at the beginning, you die pretty quickly. You could shoot that out. That knocks like over a minute and 20 seconds off your time for your build time. So you could have a Titan out there pretty quickly kind of thing. And you can only use these ones, but you do get more and more of them. So they're a really good thing to be using, guys. I'm going to lie, I haven't used many of them. That's why I've probably got so many of them. And my deck is full at the moment. But when you have died, you press Y, you pull up a burn card, and you could choose which one you want. And you can use up to three within, within a game, I think. So a really good idea as well. And... That is pretty much, guys, that is pretty much it at the moment. I can show you my personal stats at the moment. My KD is only about 1.4. Overall KD is 4.7, but that's including the bots as well. Now it shows you an overview of everything else that you've got. Your cloaks, kills, your first strikes, titan kills, everything else. You get the drift, you can see it for yourself. And how much time I've played the game. Distance, travel, playing different classes, and weapon kills, etc, etc. Or a complete overview of what obviously my favourite gun is and such. Again, similar to kind of card style, but... There's your overview, guys, of all of the class loadouts and things like that. And I hope you did find this a bit more intriguing. And obviously, if you're not able to play this game at the moment, or you're just looking for a bit of an in-depth analysis kind of thing, then I hope I've given you that... And guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you are checking out my other videos and subscribing for more. Hopefully I will be buying this game when it comes out. So if you all want to see guaranteed Titan gameplay, then you know what to do. Like I said, subscribe and your your voice and opinion matters a lot to me. So if that's something you want to see, then I'll make sure I put it out there. So thank you so much for watching my video and as always guys, take care.